Hello, welcome back. Right, today we are going to learn how to make events. Events are a very fun subject and today we are going to learn how to make your own Star Wars game. First, why don't you start looking at the video. After you are done, we are going to start with the first assignment or the second one in your case. So first, I've already made the code, but I'll explain it to you. When the up arrow is clicked, then we need to move up. Whereas when the down arrow is clicked, we need to the uh, character to move down. Let's see if the code is working. You can always explore more if you want. Now coming to the second exercise. Like in the previous one, we need to move up when the up arrow is clicked. When the down arrow is clicked, then we need our character to move down. When the left arrow is clicked, we need the character to move left. When the right arrow is clicked, we need the character to move right. Now let's see if it works. Now first we are going up. Now we need to go down to get this robot. Now we go up again to make it easier for us. Now right and finally left. I think a little up would do. Hooray, we are on our third one. So now, this time we need 900 points to win. How are we going to do that? Every time we get a robot, then we need 300 points. As 300 plus 300 plus 300 equals to 900, or 300 multiplied by 3 equals to 900. So let's see if this code works. So we have got our first target and got 300 points look it's written in the score over here then let's go get the other one now we have got 600 now we have got 900 now coming back Now, this one is tough, but we can do it. So basically, in this one, whenever we get a rebel pilot, so when get rebel pilot, then we need to add 100 points. And when get a storm trooper, then we need to remove 100 points. If you want, you can always add a man knock. That way, you Achieving 200 points will be far easier. Like whenever you get one, you can always get about how much ever points you want. So let's see. Oh, I already have minus 200, which is not a good sign. But now I'll go for the man lock and then get all the points I need. Or the robot will also do. So now I have zero. And now my only chance was the man lock. So in this one, we need to add three per pigs, which look like this, to the planet. Then go get them. So we already have the code of when we get a puff, puffer pig. But as it says over here, we need three of them. So we'll keep add, we'll add two more. One and two. Now we'll have three puffer pigs in the start. Now let's go and get them. Hooray! Now I've got all three of them. No, 
are moving ahead. For this one, I've already written the code and I'll explain you why. So first, when you get a character, then you need to produce two more of the Madnox. So how will I do that? When get a tenutin, then you need to get two Madnox. So I added two. Earlier, without them, this was how your code looks. Doesn't it? Yes. So now, I need to add two of the other characters, and let's see if my code works or not. So, I've got two of them, and in total, I need eight. So, let's see. Now that I've taken out the first characters, now I just need the man locks to finish the exercise. Hooray! Now, Let's listen to this question more carefully, as now the levels are going to get higher. Oopsies. Yep, I'll just go back to the eighth one. And this time I'll read it instead. Can you make two more mouse um, drones appear every time R2, D2 get one master get 20 masters okay so add when we press the run then we can start with one or if you want you can always add two or three for the start and then whenever we get one of them we can add about five of them so our work will be far easier we need to get 20 in total the more you add the easier it gets for you so let's see. Catching the first one can always be a little difficult. So you can start with more if you want. Oh, these things are not coming together. Now look, I have so many of them that it will be way easier for me to get them. Hooray! So we'll be done with this code very fast and you'll have no problem getting 20 of them but if you want to challenge yourself you can always add less so now this time time to visit other planets use the new commands to change your droid and its speed and then get the red planets so now let's see how can we change the speed now here it is you can always change the speed of your character, like fast, normal, slow, or random. In random, it, the computer will choose for you if you want to go slow, normal, or fast. But as it says, you need to move fast, which it doesn't say, but you can always move fast to speed up the process. So I choose fast, and let's see. I'm on my another planet. Every time an, I press start, a new planet appears. As in the code, it's written over here, set random background, or you can always choose a background that you like. So look, I got all the pilots. Now, make your, the game on your own to pass this puzzle. You can change whatever you want. Like, why don't you add points? Like, whenever you get one of the characters, you get a point. Look, I'm at a new place now. Uh oh, but I'm not able to move because I have a boundary right around me which was unable was enabling me to move. So now I got all the characters. Now you can always add more uh, things of your choice to your thing, um, to your code. 
now free play after watching this video why don't you start making your own game with everything you can ever put like extend your creativity and add new things that's the end of the video i hope to see you next time please subscribe or press the like button